Hey guys, my name is Scotty. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Health Blog and thanks to the Missouri Heart Center for sponsoring these blogs. And I've got a recipe to share with you today. Uh, one of the things I love about uh, holidays, like uh, those day off holidays, not like Christmas and New Year's, but uh, like a 4th of July, which we just recently had, is A, I get to sleep in a little bit, and B, I get to make breakfast, because that's not generally something that I do. Well, I dug around on Pinterest the other day, just looking for something a little different, and it turned out pretty well, and I wanted to, uh, to share it with you. It's a turkey and egg breakfast casserole, basically, and I've got some pictures to show you. One of the things that makes this a little different is it starts off with uh, some sweet potatoes, Take a sweet potato and just slice it real thin, as you can see, and put it in the bottom of the pan. And then uh, it calls for a dozen eggs and like a pound of ground turkey. Uh, some spinach on the top. I added some tomatoes just because I like the, that color that it adds to it a little bit. And uh, you can see what it looked like coming out of the oven. And then I even cut off a piece that you can check out uh, there. It was really good. I'll add some stuff to it that I didn't. It, it, uh, it lacked a little flavor, probably some more seasoning. I'll probably put some onions in it the next time. I also added cheese to the, uh, to the recipe that I found. Why you would do a recipe like this without cheese makes no sense to me. But it turned out to be about uh, 283 calories per serving. Uh, but the thing I loved about it, about 28 grams of protein and very low carbs. So uh, check it out to here on the post. You can see the recipe. Add whatever you want to it. That was one of the things it said. If you want to add different vegetables, you can do that. Um, but to check it out, try it out, and see what you think. If you've got a healthy recipe that you like to use a lot, I'd love to have it. And maybe we'll try it and, and use it on the blog here. Thanks again to the Missouri Heart Center. Make sure you give them a like on Facebook. They share a lot of heart healthy tips, including uh, the health blogs here. And you can find out more about them at MoHeartCenter.com.